Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha, and today I thought we'd look at one of my favourite boats. I've done them before, so what we're going to do, it's a 610 Territory Legend. And I'm telling you, this thing will make most boats look ridiculous, because it is one of the best handling, best riding, driest boats you could ever own. 610 Territory Legend. Let's look at the back of it, because it's a beautiful boat too. And what they are is they're a rear console, centre console. They were made up in the Territory for that shop, you know. And if you go up into Darwin, there's nothing else other than these things. Come and have a look at the front end, that beautiful mags, the alloy trailer, you know, tell water. It's just a wonderful trailer, drive on, very easy, catch and release. Look at that hull. It's got the blade hull. Look at that shake. You know, and I used to say, and I've stopped saying it, look at, look at the shape. It looks like a fiberglass boat. No one else has been able to do it. It's not patented. It's just Quintrex has the R&D team, the size. You know, I've said it before, every other manufacturer in Australia of aluminium boats would easily fit inside Tellwater. Do you see that shape? Look at this flare. Looks like the old Carolina or something, you know? of one of those American deep water boats. And this thing is a serious deep water boat. It really is, I love the thing. Now Dan, come over here, cause we're gonna do something a bit different. Cause I've done these before. What I've got is, you, you know Lawrence. Lawrence is our spare parts, electronics genius. And you know Ben. Ben's our finance, sales. Ben knows everything about boats and Lawrence knows everything about electronics. So what we're going to do, we're going to run, first off we're going to go Ben, he's going to hop in the boat and tell you all about it, and then we're going to demonstrate the electronics, the Minn Kota, the Hummingbird sounder, just so you can see what it is. Hey guys, welcome aboard this brand new 610 Territory Legend. I'm going to run you through some of the features of the fit of this boat, and you can make your decision yourself if you want to put them in your next boat. Starting from the back of the boat, we've got some nice reinforced deck cleats. Now you can use this to tie off to most of the moorings across the country. Anything heavy you need to tow behind, it's ready to go. Back of the transoms fitted with the drop-in ski pole mount or also bait board. Pretty handy, nice and versatile as well. In the back, plumb rear live well for all you live fishermen out there. Moving to the back of the boat, this is actually fitted with dual batteries. We've got one single unit mounted up top here. We also have another mounted in a box in the tray underneath. Separating fuel filter, high pressure deck wash, all tucked away nice and neat for you. You'll see in the back corners of the boat, dual five inch scuppers. Make sure if you do take any water over the bow, it's going to get it straight out of the boat and keep you nice and safe. Under deck storage, always handy on a boat, especially on a fishing platform. Moving forward, this console's laid out perfectly. Everything you need is in the right place at the right time. We're going to get Lawrence to run you through this a little bit more in detail, but for now, quick look. Hummingbird sounder, fusion sound system, Yamaha land gauges, best on the market, GME VHF radio. Of course, hydraulic steering fitted this boat too to make it an absolute dream. Now, there's something a little bit special about this particular boat. This is fitted with dual tanks. So you've got your main 120 litre fuel tank and a second 120 litre auxiliary tank. 240 litres, Yamaha four stroke, you're gonna go places that no one else can. Front of the boat, in the bow, we've got marine speakers fitted as part of the stereo package. Also, plenty of storage up in the bow. If we check this one out, there's so much in here. <laughs> we'll keep going through the rest of the boat. Forward seat position, so if you want a lean seat, it's up and in there, ready to go. More access to your storage, you'll see we've got your dual batteries on board again. Yeah. Joey! Joey, where are you, Joey? What we've got on this boat is very versatile. Inshore, offshore fishing, Minn Kota electric motor. What I'm going to do is deploy this for you, then I'm going to hand you over to Lawrence, and he's going to run you through all the electronics. that easy. Okay so we've got the Solix 12, the Hummingbird Solix 12 here. Great unit. What we're going to do is show how the Minn Kota hooks up to the Solix 12 and how we've got all our uh, touch panel here. The main key factors with the Solix range is it comes with Mega Imaging Plus. Side down allows you to have up to 60% wider and deeper uh, clarity on the screen. Double slot for your Navionics and your extra data SD cards there. 
One of the biggest features that I like with the Solix or uh, the Solix is that it's got cross touch. We can use touch screen on the touch and then you've still got your full menu option with your buttons over the far right. So what we have here is the Minn Kota. It's the uh, Riptide Saltwater Tarova and we've got the 80 pound, 60 inch shaft, sorry, 72 inch shaft, uh, eye link. So it allows the Minn Kota to connect up to the Hummingbird Sounder, Solix or the Helix range. So I just want to demonstrate on how great the link is. Comes with this nice touch screen uh, remote. Once again, you can uh, connect your, you can touch the screen on the remote or you can control it via the buttons. Um, so what I want to show you here is how we're going to use the uh, turn, how we're going to turn it around and start the propeller with the remote. So I'll turn it, turn it right, turn it left, and we will start the uh, propeller. Six ten territory legend. You put three seats across the back. You know, you're in a meter and a half a chop, two meters, flat out 70K, 75 with a 150 Yamaha. Dan will put the specs of the boat up and the 150. You know I love those things. Everyone that's ever owned one loves one. Most reliable 150, powerful. They're 164 horsepower, right? Yamaha won't tell you that, no one. But you get in one, you'll know it is. And we'll see you on the water.